all right guys for kage here and welcome back to the brand new video here we are again on reverse 1999 um but, oh boy i've been really enjoying the game i i like the style of the game and everything connected with it i'm pretty already addicted to it and i cannot wait to progress even more even more even more just before i start with the topic of today's video check out on my channel uh on, click on the live stream tab on my channel and pretty much there you're gonna see already most likely a scheduled live stream if you still don't see it soon you're gonna see it and there i'll be giving away 50 gift codes okay those gift codes will be only usable once and i will ask from you when you redeem that um, gift code that you send me a screenshot on a discord server or um, dm me on twitter blah 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 we're gonna discuss that on a live stream but just so you know i'll be giving away 50 new gift codes this is pretty much the cooperation with the blue stacks and reverse 1999 um okay so let me start on today's video i want to tell you the mistakes you should avoid certain things you should not do and certain things that you should do more precisely we're gonna talk about the stamina uh, i believe it's called activity here in the game uh, i will talk about the team composition briefly and what things you should do and on what things you should be focused on we're gonna talk about the banners uh, we're gonna talk about the progress, a little bit combat gameplay. I want to show you a few things while you're playing what you should pay attention so you can easily progress. We're gonna discuss a little bit about the shop and that's pretty much it overall. Leave a like, subscribe, your opinions in the comment section below and let we start. So thing, first thing first, I want to start with the banners. Okay, so this is overall conclusion guys. So these two banners okay every like raid up banner you know all of this so for example you summon here 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 this banner leaves some other banner will appear the pity will transfer okay i repeat the pity will transfer okay um but if you summon on the standard banner the pity won't transfer to other banners so have that in mind that's a crucial thing yeah, every 70 summons, you have a guaranteed one six-star character. And for example, you are summoning, you've done like 60 summons, and this banner leaves, and then some other banner will, will drop, and that pity will transfer. So you will have to do only one more multi, and you're gonna get a six-star characters. Okay, so this raids up banners, so when they leave, they transfer the pity to the other banner, but this standard banner, Oh no, here you cannot. Yeah, here also there is a pity that every 70 summons there is a guaranteed one six star. But of course, this doesn't transfer to other new banners, just so you know. Overall, it is worth summoning on the radar banners just because of that pity transfer and everything else. You can literally manipulate when you want to get a six star in a way. So definitely summon here or here. I would I would I would recommend here and uh, don't summon on the standard banner you can only reroll on that banner I don't advise summoning here okay uh, okay let me get rid of the stamina now uh, so stamina or activity uh so pretty much you have here certain refills it is really important that you don't over cap the stamina so for example as you can see i have 153 out of 169 i don't need to use those things now because i will over cap it and i will waste the material also there is a timer here so make sure to use i believe it's here yeah so make sure that you use the stamina in uh, in uh, in time right so don't don't wait until this runs out that is one of the crucial things because you could miss a lot of um you could miss a lot of uh, valuable material like stamina for the progress also while we are talking about the stamina right now i recommend progressing as much as possible because more things you're gonna unlock um further you're gonna progress in the story more things you're gonna unlock that will give you um 
new ways to get certain materials and in that way you will become stronger and stronger and stronger so doing the story should be your priority from the get-go currently now i am on chapter three stage three been really enjoying it and having fun um as you progress you're gonna uh, unlock resources uh, I believe this part you can even do like for free maybe two times per day or which one? Yeah, I know it's for this. Okay, it's for this. It's for the um, for the weapons. I, I call them psycho cubes, something like that. Okay, so you're getting here the material to enhance those psych cubes. Okay, so this is important as you can see if I click here or if I click here. Which one doesn't consume like stamina? What, 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 why am I tripping, bro? Am I tripping? Yeah, this one consumes stamina. There is, there is some stages here that doesn't consume stamina. So just want to double check that. Locked. Minus 15. Oh, oh, in-depth analysis chances. Okay, my bad, my bad. I already used that uh, free. So, yeah, you have, I believe, two free uh, tries. Like, you don't have to use stamina, okay? And then afterwards, you use stamina. And this is uh, highly important that you do this. Because in that way, can be changed for items. It's like, sure, source, piano, da here and then also you get like a regular reward like this one that can be used like um to level up uh side cubes engraving pretty much okay so guys as you're gonna progress you're gonna unlock really this really good things like insights that you're gonna get materials so you can even inside the character that's highly highly important and then here also in time you're gonna open up artificial somnambulism wow i cannot pronounce that uh, but yeah here you're gonna also get a ton of material more precisely material that can be exchanged in the shop so that's why i say make sure to prioritize your story progress don't worry too much about repeating certain tasks just focus on progress 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 and later on when you get like stuck or something like that you can always go for example here and for example you can go here and then replay this if you're stuck in that way you will get a bunch of material and then you're gonna level up your furthermore account and then most likely you're gonna level up more characters and everything else plus if you if you focus on psycho cubes uh, material to enhance the engravings of psycho cube that also can be helpful so every time pretty much when you're stuck you will go back to this part you will go back to the resources and then you're gonna play around depending what do you need insight also to increase the insight of the character and this for the shop okay i believe now that part is clear and of course story like i said it's a must okay uh the next thing is <sighs> team okay so like i already said multiple times pretty much focus on like three characters but uh, three characters but then again i believe you can even focus on a little bit more characters far four to even five although i highly recommend only three but then again eventually you'll build up all of those characters as you're gonna progress and then you're gonna switch between the teams you're gonna play around create this team that team so i won't like be uh, too boring with that but i just want to say focus on your three main characters for me is lilia uh sonetto is really great as a free to play charlie really great but mainly three units that i want to work on is lilia uh dicke and baby blue like this three characters work so well together and i, I recommend that you do the same dicke as a healer uh, baby blue as a debuffer for the opponent pretty much and doing some damages sub dps in a way but dk is also like a sub dps and the healer like crazy he's a super good character sometimes squishy but super good and then lilia is dps i switch lilia and charlie they're like my main dps characters and then sonetto again i use her for disarm right and yeah overall really really good character so that's why i pretty much focused on like five characters but mainly i focus on three characters lilia dike and baby blue and then i play around with others okay and that's the same that i recommend for you for your team composition that's a must that you know don't put like only dps characters don't put like only support characters you need to 
perfectly create your team so you can progress in peace Good morning, Mr. one more thing if i go here in the task you can see that return of growth level up sonata to level 23 level up eagle to level 23 this is definitely worth doing because you're getting pretty much you're gonna get all those materials back that's why i say that in a way like level up those things you're gonna get that material back and then you can level up even furthermore other characters so i would like recommend a tree but you can go four or five characters you can build them up easily i believe there, there wouldn't be any problems with that so do this beginning missions daily activities weekly activities i don't need to tell you about that right uh okay and now the shop one second let me just i know it's not the shop i just went there for no freaking reason is there I, I i forgot where is the shop bro i honestly forgot where is the shop uh one second oh yeah yeah the, the names in this game bank it is called bank okay in the palm shop definitely do this okay uh, definitely this is like a rabbit is a summoning material so make sure to use this material track of the lost and pretty much by summoning and doing the weekly activities you're gonna get those so make sure to mainly change it for the unilock summoning material right here um also you can use the stickers that you can get from the summons itself again you can use it for the summoning material that's like super and highly highly important okay that's like uh, drops um, also i don't recommend using the gems in a way for the stamina but then again you do you it's a casual game so i won't go into that too much we're not having like pvp or anything like that so we can chill uh wilderness I believe I covered pretty much everything what I want to say, but I have a few more things. A wilderness is a place where you can like... Um... Oh yeah, there's a few more things I want to discuss about the characters. And then wilderness is the place where I think everyone should work on. Because here you're going to get those additional things that can be helpful. Like a material, as you can see, boom, boom, boom. Like all of that is like it's really important. So here you're going to get... A little bit more things and that's like super super important uh you can build up city here it's the add buildings you have different type of missions that you can do omg just leave me alone now what <laughs> i just want to show people what is this chill okay yeah you pretty much are leveling up the buildings you're getting you're gathering like bonds for the characters definitely definitely a help a uh, place where you should work on because you're gonna get those additional materials as you can see right here more things you're gonna build up and more things you're gonna build definitely you're gonna get more materials definitely over time so i definitely recommend doing this okay uh, so we covered stamina we covered the characters the teams a little bit what you should be focused on for the get-go the mistake you should avoid don't do this don't do that we talk about that <laughs> that even rhymed a little bit amateur uh okay one more thing work on the insights for your characters this will pretty much limit break them and how to know where to get certain materials well you can generally click go craft go pawn shop beautiful boom go i can get there go 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 so i don't need to explain that but doing that for your main characters is a must especially for the main dps this is what i forgot to say work mainly on your dps character because every dps character needs that extra 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 work just, just so you can maximize the amount of the damage you're gonna put that's pretty much that and now uh, one more thing let we say this example uh, do we have waves here or, or only one? I want to go with the waves, but whatever. You, you're going to understand everything now. Yeah, this is not, a, you know, multiple waves. But the mistakes that m some people might be doing. Let's just say you have, like, uh, multiple waves. Um, and then on the first wave, you, you almost kill the enemy. And then the second wave is really close. Many people are using ultimates. Don't use then ultimate, save it for later on. Now, if you have... If the enemy is the wave 1 out of 2, and the enemy has still a lot of HP, 
and then use the ultimate it's definitely worth it okay and definitely don't save the ultimates too long but you don't have to use them immediately okay um most of the time it is even worth to combine the cards because you're gonna get those additional stuff so for example here for me it was worth to combine the card and then go with some attack level one attacks are nothing too crazy level two better level three even better uh, this opponent is when you're facing only one wave opponents especially this weird type of like i fought statue and a few of those like wave one um opponents they're super super annoying have that in mind like super annoying and usually almost like always the hardest to kill the previous one where i got a little bit stuck was the statue guy uh that was no joke but always guys also one more thing every time at the start of the battle sometimes it says something here read it it's like a crucial tip sometimes i don't read it and i'm then i'm like what the hell is happening like that statue statue guy managed to get those dots right here and use the ultimates constantly and i didn't read it because i was combining the card constantly so you have certain conditions for the opponent so definitely you should check out the detail intel and then play around like this we might not win here uh, but you will see just an example of the combat like why it's so important to have the sustainable character the support character i mean healer and then uh this dps like overall they work so well together like blue her, i'll call her blue uh, she's doing the debuffs like uh when i apply two star for example debuff on the opponent he will do less damage i'll do more damage and then uh, dk here is for the insane healing although here i might switch him up he wasn't too helpful plus i didn't got so much rng is also place of this like getting the right cards and everything else it's not like like super super simple okay guys pretty much we're gonna end the video here there is nothing else to say i will finish this battle i mean we can finish it together but pretty much hopefully i remember to say everything oh yeah you can also use in the combat that can help you out is this melody so you click here use 40 of those costs and then you can just like generally combine any card you want so that can be extremely helpful for example i'm not doing that for example i can do this or even better you can see that my characters are low so this can be now extremely helpful so for example let me do this boom i hope they're gonna i messed up okay never mind and, and plus when you combine it you don't lose a turn it's fine actually it's fine so you can use that melody to get that extra advantage and level, level up your uh, increase your stay star yeah increase your level of your skill pretty much with those melodies so definitely can be helpful i'm in a big trouble so again i can use this right boom i use 50. we're gonna heal up we're gonna need that boom healing up this combining the cards everything is about tactic here guys okay everything this is a beautiful strategy type of the game i believe we're gonna actually manage to do it although he's gonna use now the ultimate so we're gonna see but like all of this type of the characters will be highly necessary for you to beat the stages it won't be super easy yeah you will suffer sometimes you will suffer like for example on this stage but i still think if we're gonna see now i can use this, this arm now so that's a nice thing um, not yet but soon hopefully i'll be able to survive and then yeah boom dps dps and then debuff this will be helpful now because we're lowering did we lower i didn't see it got applied maybe it has already stacks on it unlucky here honestly really unlucky really unlucky if i had a little bit other cards we're gonna see ah come on give me some cards that i can combine actually what the hell is this it's so bad omg oh what the okay lilia will die that's a problem 
I still could potentially do this, but he's doing the ultimate, we're gonna see now. I did few strategic mistakes here, but not big of the deal. We're gonna survive. Now, we're gonna actually die. It's okay. It, it, it is how it is. So now we can, for example, I can disarm him. That's like super helpful. Uh, so I'm really close. I just have to retry it a little bit and use get a little bit luckier. Honestly, I got like super unlucky here. To be honest, then got combining cards and over all of that. So RNG is also the place of the combat. Okay, guys. So I believe we covered everything from the combat to the uh, game to the team composition to the shop stamina and everything else. Okay. And yeah, sometimes you will have to restart it and try it all over again. Also, one more thing. One more thing for the end. Like, you can check out, for example, you're doing a match, you can always check out, boom, what other people used and how they beat this, this stage. And then you can, I do always my own team, pretty much, that rarely someone uses, to be honest, but it's working like a charm. Okay, that's that, hopefully you did enjoy it. I mean, rarely someone uses it. They use it, but most like they use more like her and others, blah, 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 because she can disarm. But I'm just playing around, bro. I'm just playing around. So definitely we can do this. That's it, guys. Love ya. And bye. Hope you did enjoy it. Your comments, everything. If you have something to add, put it down below. That's it. Bye, guys.